Hey, what up y'all, Mr. Cruz here, your friendly neighborhood producer back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can get your MIDI controllers to work inside a band lab so that you can do stuff like this. All right, let's just jump right into it. Um, if you have a MIDI controller right now, I have my MIDI controller and that's why you can see like the keys being triggered. So all you should have to do is connect it. So right now I'm gonna disconnect mine. And boom, you should see like a little notification popping up, letting you know that it's been disconnected. Plugging it back in will let you know that if it's detected automatically, then you're good to go. If you have more than one MIDI controller or MIDI device connected, then you would go here where it says MIDI device and then just drop down to select the one. Obviously on mine, I only have one connected, but it shows up as two different ones. That might also happen. So, you know, check both of them to make sure that they both work. If that doesn't work, right? Because a lot of modern MIDI controller devices they have drivers installed in the actual device. So connecting it to your machine, so like connecting it to your computer, your laptop or whatever, it should automatically download and install the drivers. That doesn't always happen. So in case that doesn't always happen, I'm gonna show you what else you can do. So you should be able to go to whatever the manufacturer's website is. This is not the one that I'm using because the one that I'm using already has the drivers installed. So I'm using this other one as an example. This is an Akaya MPK Mini 2. Um, I actually have this one and this is what I had to do initially. So you want to find the manufacturer's website. So because this is an Akaya, I'm going to go to the Akaya's website and then I'm going to go to either download or support on the actual device. So in this one, for example, I would have to go to uh, keyboards and find Akaya MPK Mini 2. Um, and then under downloads. So it'll be either under downloads or support on, you know, different manufacturers websites will be different. So I'm gonna look for anything that says firmware update or um, something that says like driver install. You're gonna download those two files or one of those files and that is what you're gonna install so that your MIDI controller will be read by your computer, which in turn will be read and usable inside of BandLab. You might have to restart it and whatever, but like 80% of the time, if your MIDI controller is not being detected automatically, that's what you're gonna have to do. The other thing that I wanna say is that sometimes if you're using a generic device, so a device that's like not from a major brand, those devices tend to not have a long like shelf life, meaning that the companies that manufacture them don't offer support for very long. So I would say you should be able to connect it first. That should work. If it doesn't, then that means your device is a little bit older. So then go to the website and then try to download the drivers. If that doesn't work, then that means that whatever device you're using is probably outdated and there's no longer any kind of support for it. So you might have to fork over the money to get like something from a newer generation. But before you guys do that, make sure you drop comments and let me know if you're having any trouble with it. Hopefully this is helpful to you guys. Let me know in the comments below if that's the case. Also hit that like button if this video helped you out. If you want to check out some more of my band lab videos, click this video right here. Outside of that, it's your boy, Mr. Cruz out.